Executive Director, Mr. Asok Chandra, Executive Director, Mr. Hardeep Singh Ahluwalia, Executive Director, along with senior members of the team. And without uh, further ado, I hand over the call to MD, sir, for his opening remarks, post which we can open the floor for Q&A. Good evening to all of you. Good, e good evening to all our well-wishers who are attended this uh, uh, interaction session, sir. Uh, I wish to present a few highlights of that, our Canada Bank's performance for the financial year 22-23 to all of you. I know that you might have gone through the presentation already, uh, but I would like to share some of the few uh, highlights once again. Our global business has stood at a 20.41 lakh crore with a growth rate of 11.72%. Our gross advances, global advances, have grown at 16.41%, stood at 8.62 lakh crore. Our domestic advances also has grown uh, more than 15%, 15.01%. Our RAM credit has grown at 13.23 and stood at 4.77 lakh crore. With this uh, improvement in the business, has resulted to an, an excellent growth in the operating profit. This current quarter also we have recorded a YYY record a growth rate of 16.94% and, uh, and an operating profit of 7,252 crores. The year on year, if you look at that, the sequentially for the whole financial year, our operating profit growth has increased from 23,090 to 27,715 crores with a growth rate of more than 20%. This resulted as and a quarterly a growth, year-on-year -year growth of 90.63% uh, in our net profit, and that is, uh, we stood at the net profit of this quarter, March quarter, is 3,175. Here I would like to share with you that the first time a Canara Bank in the history of its uh, Canara Bank, it has crossed the five-digit figure for a financial year in the net profit. With the whole financial year, our net profit together has across 10,604 crores as against a previous year of 5,600 odd. Our net interest, this net profit or operating profit, whatever the growth we have shown, it was led by a net interest income with a growth rate of 23.01% and the current quarter it stood at the 8,617 crores. With these good numbers in the profit uh, bottom line, our gross NPA has reduced uh, uh, considerably uh, to the extent of a 5.35% the present level is with an uh, e YOY decline of 216 basis points. Our net NPA also has considerably uh, shown a decline, uh, declining trend uh, with uh, 92 basis points YOY and decline and stood at 1.73% as against uh, <clears throat> a commitment of the Canada Bank at 2%. And again, we continued our strengthening the balance sheet, future-ready balance sheet. We, this quarter also, we have tried to provide as much as possible. That has resulted to an improvement in the, our PCR at 87.31%, with an YOY increase of 314 basis points. Further to add this, sir, some more, actually, the key parameters we would like, I would like to share with you is our housing loan portfolio has uh, thrust area in our retail lending portfolio, and that has grown at 14.27% and stood at 84,364 crores. Our gold loan portfolio is continuing our trend. Whatever the last two, three years, we are showing the growth rate. And this year also, we could record the same growth rate. And the growth rate is around 33.82% year on year. And stood at that, the portfolio is 1,23,185. Our retail credit has shown a growth rate with the support of housing loan with a double digit growth at 10.91% and overall outstanding balance stood at 1,40,000 crores. With all these things, I would like to share that the board has recommended for a dividend of 120% of the total paid up capital as against the 65% which we announced the last year. For every 10 rupee share price, now we are recommended for a dividend of 12 rupees as against earlier last year recommended amount of 6.5 rupees. With all these initiatives, 
and our return on equity has uh, stood at 19.49 percent uh, one of the among the public sector banks one of the the best figures we can show to the we can uh, reflect in this balance sheet with a jump of almost 667 basis points our crer is 16.68 percent we are continuing above the 16 percent though that we have shown the credit uh, growth rate at more than 16.4 percent still we are able to show the credit crer at above 16 percent uh, because of our internal accruals our return on assets also we have achieved at 0.95 percent year on year with a basis points of 38 basis points improvement our cost to income ratio this is sequentially for whole financial year we could maintain a below 45% uh, the 44.79% with a 137 basis points improvement our net interest margin as we have uh, promised to that committed to the uh, uh, investment community or stakeholders that we will uh, manage above the 2.9 as against 2.9 the last two quarters we are reflecting our nim of more than 3% and the just concluded march quarter also we could able to show that the 3.07% nim with an yoy improvements of 14 basis points if you look at that pure five complete financial year our nim is now stood at 2.95 as against our guidance of 2.90 these are all the few highlights sir and uh, now it's open for the uh, dias that's the people and the investors our well wishers we are ready uh, my all the whole time directors executive directors sri mukherji sir sri bismohan uh, ji sri ashok ji sri ardeep ji along with me and our cfo and all our top management people we are ready to uh, take any of your clarifications and to clarify you sir over to you sir can we open the floor for you sir thank you sir for your brief opening remark so we'll start with q and a the participant who wish to ask the question please raise your hand we'll take a first question from gaurav coach sir please unmute yourself and ask your question yeah hi good evening sir thanks for taking that question sir uh, i have a few questions so firstly uh, can you clarify what is this 720 crore which is there in the other provisions what does this pertain to sir this is the 720 crore so is just to strengthen the balance sheet for future ready whatever we feel that that there is a, some stress in some area even if it is in the news or something to take care of that future sh shocks or any sudden um, uh, things uh, to strengthen that balance sheets these 720 crores have been additionally provided sir okay okay and not sir, the specific it's the these are all additional cushion what we have in the balance sheet sir great great, great. so sir what would be the total, total, total quantum of these additional provisions today on the balance sheet other than pcr no actually for against the mandatory jo requirements we have quite comfortable additional surplus is there sir that our pcr is itself is reflecting that we are at now 87% every quarter we feel we strongly committed that at least 100 basis points additional cushion has to be brought to this the whatever the nps are there and the same journey is continuing and this quarter also we have strengthened our pcr from 86 to 87% more than 87% that itself reflects the question whatever it is available in that system sir right one is pcr because there is over and above pcr like you have provided 720 crore just wanted to understand what is the total that we have already provided see you look at that sir actually the our absolute numbers in the gross npa is around 46000 right, right. Well, whereas when it comes for that net npa it is uh, only a 14349 right 
that means that the remaining entire amount is under the provision available so that much question is there of course as per regulatory requirement we are supposed to provide certain amount but we always go beyond that regulatory requirements and provide the additional the provision ultimately our aim is to see that our net npa should come below 1% at the earliest that's the the motto we are moving on that got it got it got it. so the next year credit cost at 120 bips is assuming the pcr to increase further and in net npa going below 1% is that the way we should look at it and actually our efforts will continue for that sir but we have given that commitment to the uh, our uh, uh, commitment figures in the last uh, uh, ppt of the last page that we are committed for the 1.2% in the credit cost of course we are little conservatively we are giving that but we are confident right. that we will uh, be much better than that and even sure. net npa we are given in a uh, guidance that 1.2 but we are definitely confident of 1% got it got it and sir moving uh, to margins uh, currently your full year margin was 2.95 for fiscal year 23 next year you are guiding for 3.05 which is 10 basis point higher so i just wanted to understand what will drive that expansion will it be the mclr linked loans that will come up for repricing or will it be more of a mix change towards the ramp up see entire thing actually the initially also last 2 3 years we are communicating to the our stakeholders that our composition of ram and corporate will continue at a 55 and 45% 2% here and there depending on the opportunities available suppose we we have a bigger opportunity in the corporate we grow 2% more in that or if we look at that higher returns at ram we uh, divert it to that ram but the ultimately our composition is that's the 45 55% we may move to uh, 43 57 or some that's the range we may look at that for because keeping in the margin margins are in um, our uh, uh, matlab intact that's the focus on the margins the second one what you are asking about mclr and all external benchmarking rates our 49% of total asset book is under mclr this mclr even now we have 40 to 45% of the portfolio is still let to be a repriced because most of these mclr linked accounts will be reset annual basis so that's the better matlab comfort the bank is having in our hands that remaining 40% of the portfolio still had to be repriced uh, that will be repriced in the days to come whenever it, their respect to account loan account is completed one year and that gives the additional income got it and sir on the same question on the liability side uh, what percentage of your term deposits are already repriced and what percentage will come up to repricing in the next uh, 6 to 12 months no actually whatever the one year period what we have taken that that's the entire thing repricing is going on eh? and we are now repricing we are able to reprice at a lower rate of interest whereas in the last two, two second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter especially second and third quarter what we have taken in the form of cds or a bulk deposits uh, we have raised at little higher side but that we are now because in the first quarter me there is no much traction from other banks we want to encash that and we are able to encash it we are repricing that in the downward trend but at the same time our focus more on the casa deposits this time under the interest rate regime of increasing last one year because of the high rate of interest regime we along with the other industry players we also have suffered in the casa front Uh, that has been little bit uh, stagnant in the first two three quarters but uh, in the fourth quarter we have seen some traction some quarter on quarter in the casa itself we have grown 4.26% we want to continue that trend that trend we want to continue in this all the quarters of this current financial year that will address a majority of my repricing whatever it is to be done okay understood okay understood. this last question sir garo can you please please join the queue just last question Pardon? if i can squeeze in okay tell me sir please go ahead yeah sure thanks yeah. sir yeah. sir the growth as that you're guiding for fiscal year 24 is around 10.5% and if i look at the roe of the bank is well ahead of 19 20% so in that context do you foresee any capital requirement or you think that uh, the internal accrual will be enough to to meet the to meet the growth, growth targets in the near term 
Sir, we have given a guidance of uh, a credit growth at 10.5 percent, है ना? Right. And the present CRER in uh, for the Canara Bank is 16.68 percent. I think we are one among the top, uh, the highest CRER of banks among the peer banks in the public sector front. Comfortable in a uh, common equity, we are comfortable in tier one and tier two. This 16.68 we could achieve it for the last one year, though the last year credit growth is more than 16 percent. Yes. Even if the uh, regulator introduces in as uh, for the accounting system and the loan loss provisioning is to be required, that's the it is the uh, time available is five years, and the every year we need actually the eight thousand crores. We assessed our requirement that in the five years our total requirement is forty two thousand crores. Out of these forty two thousand crores, every year we are on approximately we need eight thousand to eight thousand five hundred crores, and our uh, net profit first time we have crossed ten thousand. 600 crores i am sure with that even after announcing the dividend uh, 20% of my net profit my existing accruals itself is required to uh, enough to meet the the additional requirement whatever the, uh, the regulator expects from us if you maintain even maintain at the double digit growth in the credit uh, for the next 2 to 3 years or cr year without going to the mark we can easily manage above 14% but But at the same time, in the next board meeting, again we are going to the board only to replenish of our AT1 bonds or Tier 2 bonds, which are maturing or which are at a higher rate of interest. When the market is in our favour, we don't mind doing that. To that extent only, we go to the board and get a permission in the next board meeting. But we are not in plans for any common equity in the next one or two years because we are comfortable in that. Sure, sir. Just to clarify, you mentioned 8,000 crore of provision required for NDS. Uh, can you explain a bit? Uh, in, no, sir. ATS, this is this is not ATS. Eh? If the, so far it has not been implemented in India, see India has that is the loan loss provisioning, credit loss provisioning. If at all even regulator comes for that, in, implements that, we are very active on that. So that demands oh. a higher provisionings. that provisioning okay. also we can meet from our internal accruals but as it is we are so comfortable at 16.68 and it is the highest among the peers public uh, sector peer banks 16.68 and we don't require any additional capital at this moment sure sir got it thanks sure. and all the very best thank you sir thank you participants please restrict your question to 2 to 3 per participants we'll take the next question from anand dama please unmute yourself and ask your question okay thank you for the opportunity uh, sir first uh, if you can just help with like you know the broad breakup of slippages because what we observed is that for you for you basically the slippages would have come up but for other banks slippages have been on a higher side uh, so if you can just spell out what's the aggregate slippage during the current quarter and how it compares with last quarter and uh, similarly for the corporate and investment corporate so your question i understand that that is regarding the slippages sir because your yeah. voice is breaking but uh, i understood that you asked about the slippages i'll explain to you that slippages sir just you look at that the slippages our focus is uh, very much on the slippages as well as on the recovery both the friends if you study that the last entire financial year at uh, that the quarter on quarter the slippages is coming down the march 22 our slippages were 4736 it has come down to the december 22 the slippages were 3210 but whereas now the current quarter march quarter our slippages are further down and now the current quarter was only 2973 crores as against that the cash recovery in the current quarter was the 4349 as against that the slippage of 2973 our cash recovery itself is 4349 There is a 14, 1400 crores more than what we allowed the slippages. Here, I would like to share with you that, sir, our SMU position. If you look at that, the our SMU position also has been drastically has come down. So last March 22, our SMU, if you look at that 5 crore and above, 1.53 percent, which it has come down to the 0.76, even 50 percent almost it has come down. That's the way we are working on that in the both the fronts uh, together. to address this uh, npa position sir that's the reason actually we could uh, reflect we could brought down the gross npas 
to the what the percentages we have announced in the gross NPA and net NPA percentages, that we could show that 5.35 and 1.73. Uh, sir, my question was about the broad breakup of slippages during the current quarter in terms of agri, corporate, MSME. Broad? Slippage Break bifurcation you want, sir? Yes, uh, yes. 2973, 2973, actually there are no account has slipped from the corporate, sir. This entire 2973 from the RAM sector, 1450 to 1500 crores is from the MSME sector, 980 to 1000 crores is from agriculture, approximately 500 crores is from retail. Okay, sure. And so secondly, uh, you have a recovery from return of accounts of almost about 2000 crores in the other income. Yeah. Uh, what is a broad breakup of that to hear from this recovery as well? No, recovery uh, in return of account is continuing whatever the we are doing it uh, in the regularly for every quarter. But the, this quarter, March quarter, we got a good amount because we got some recoveries from ILFS group companies and some LCLT resolutions. Otherwise, in the small ticket size, whatever we are able to do it for the continuously for last three, four quarters, this quarter also has been yielded the good results. That's the reason we are able to show a good uh, results in the uh, bottom line, both in the operating profit and net profit. It has contributed to us almost 2,150 crores, sir. Yes, sir. How much was from yes, ILFS? It's a two accounts. We got some resolutions. Sir. Uh, the amount is around 600 crores, sir. 600 to 650 crores. Sir. Any further resolutions expected, sir, in first quarter? Definitely, sir. That's the uh, action is going on. Uh, but exactly, we cannot say that in this quarter or next quarter. We are expecting in this financial year also some resolutions on that through NCLT or whatever the process is there. Hi, Anand, can you please rejoin the team? Thank you. We'll take the next question from Mr. Aso. Please uh, unmute yourself and ask your question. Yeah, this is Ashok Ajmera. Good evening, sir. Namaste, Namaste Ajmera, sir. Namaste, Namaste, sir, all of you. Uh, fine, 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 sir. Fine. Happy to see you, sir. Uh, Mm -hmm. Sir, good to see you mm -hmm. as the MD and CEO of such a large bank, sir, <laughs> which you deserve. Uh, having mm -hmm. said that, sir, compliments to you uh, for the sir. fantastic performance of the bank. Uh, as you sir. yourself said, going forward, I mean, you have already crossed 10,000 crore of the net profit. Even in this quarter, also, the performance is very good uh, overall. Even the profitability current also, you see. I have a couple of uh, uh, questions and some observations, sir. Uh, on the treasury uh, front, uh, because of the existing yeah, pressures so which were there in last, uh, you know, about a six months or eight months time, uh, even in this last quarter, this quarter also couldn't perform so well. Rather, the treasury income and the profits have gone down. Now, when the things have are a little bit easing down, you know, the rates are coming. Uh, I mean, I have taken a pause. Where do you see uh, treasury contributing to our profitability in the coming quarter, sir? This is one. And... Uh, on the credit, credit growth, sir, <coughs> for the overall growth for the year has been good. But in the last quarter, I think our growth was muted. Uh, in the domestic credit, if you take it's only 1.39 percent. And uh, you are given a very conservative target also of 10, 10.3 percent. But going forward, then, how do you immediately start, uh, like this quarter? Uh, what is the development so far in one month? Are we going to achieve the credit uh, growth of about 3.5% or 4%? And from where it will it will come? Whether the corporate also will contribute to the aid? Uh, on the technology front also, sir, uh, the bank uh, uh, is very fairly placed. But we would like to know what else is going on the digital uh, journey of the bank and what kind of budgets are allocated. And end-to-end uh, -end solution for the entire operations of the bank, is there any plan and when those plans will be fulfilled, sir? So these are the couple of questions and one on agri, agri loan acquisition. Uh, we have acquired the loan of 1,322 crore. Uh, what is the nature of this loan, sir? You also you have stated that most of it is double A, triple A, but what kind of agriculture loan where the security is nil? As per the table given. So these are the few uh, questions and observations. So Treasury related, uh, our uh, ED Mukherjee sir will answer you. First I will answer the other questions, whatever it is there on that. First you have spoken about the 
uh, credit growth, what we have projected 10 percent, what we have recorded in the uh, front of uh, the March quarter uh, credit growth. Sir, March quarter also RAM actually even in absolute numbers, uh, we have grown considerably the 15,000 crores in the uh, RAM credit itself. But the corporate also we have grown 6,000 crores. Generally, when you look at in a year, it is a 25,000 crores absolute numbers. So you, if you grow it, it reflects in the 3% uh, point growth in the quarter on quarter basis. But the, actually the overseas, you look at that our exposures were little higher in the oil companies, which we were lent earlier there to the extent of 15,000 crores to the Indian oil companies on a short term basis. The domestic corporate credit still continued that to grow that. The only thing that there, is, there are repayments in the overseas uh, corporates of oil companies, not in the any other companies. It's only in the oil company. These are all Indian government oil companies only. That the short-term people are there. Again, they may avail it in the June quarter. It's not that, that they will not avail. It's a short-term purpose. We have met that requirement, and it has payment has come down. But the domestic corporate credit, there is a continuation of credit is there. Even in absolute numbers also, there is almost 6,000 crores is growth is there. But the where we gone little slow is to address the bottom line, the whatever the stress on the margins. Margins like NII. NII, we don't want to compromise on that because you are all very much aware that that the last two, previous two quarters, we have uh, resource mobilization, we have depended more on the term deposits. Uh, that gives some pressure on our NIMS to address that. In the AAA rated uh, the advances, we have started repricing of certain loans. That's where actually the growth used to look at that it is little slow, but at the absolute numbers, we were doing that, that's a good growth. There are good sanctions on hand. We already have a more than 20, 22,000 crores of sanctions even now. Last two in one month also, we have considerable sanctions we have made. Every quarter, there is a board CAC is sanctioning the new proposals to address the tat. We don't want to keep anything beyond seven days. So sanctions are there, disbursements are expected to happen in those sanctions, and we look at that the credit growth in the corporate, whatever we have seen in the last two, three quarters, that will continue in the domestic front. There, because the overseas front, that whatever the 15,000 crores we have given it short-term loans, that will be repayable. So partly it has been repaid in the March, partly now also it has been repaid. The, to that extent only, it looks that it is a little low. But it's nothing to do with that our domestic credit growth. RAM we have given an emphasis on the RAM. We want to grow much bigger in the RAM side because we want to improve our ratios little further in that. Last quarter, you see that from 54% to 55%, we have improved. This time, again, we want to improve from 55 to 56 or 57, depending on the opportunities available, where we see that the higher returns will be there and the lower risk will be there. That's where the actually the... Uh, uh, restudying of our portfolio. So it's uh, nothing but that's the reason initially also we announced that our standard is at uh, the 45 to 50 percent, but always keep a cushion of 2 percent uh, growth anywhere, whether it is in RAM or whether it is a corporate, depending on that respect to quarter or the financial year, depending on the availability of the opportunities. Our opportunity look at that higher returns, sir. We focus on quality at the same time higher returns. These two while keeping in that. So this is the actually the thing. But otherwise, literally, there is no question. And June, we are expecting the quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth of 2.5 to 3%, and we are confident of doing that. So the 10.5%, whatever we have given the guidance to the market, that will be quite comfortably achievable. It's not an uh, because whatever the trend we are maintaining, 8% we have projected, and we have achieved a double digit. This year also, our tendency will continue. Only while growing that, we are keeping margins in our mind. We are not compromising that margins. That's the except to that. Nothing, there is no change in our approach or anything. The second one, the technology front, what you asked is, we are taking last continuously. This is the third year. We got the, our board approved uh, budget reallocation for even uh, the capital uh, ca capex investment in the IT exclusively. That's more than 1,200 crores. That 1,200 crores will continue. Every last three years, we are uh, investing in the IIT more than 1,000 crores. Though little bit it impacts on my operating expenses when I am investing heavily, but in the keeping in view of it, technologically transforming so that I can reach the uh, younger generation. That's the ultimately where the wealth is there. 
you cannot neglect that younger generation we are coming out with so many new initiatives on april first week itself uh, we have kept our house ready for with the transfers and all those things we have announced several new products both in the technology as well as to attract the casa also you might have seen many advertisements also is coming we are very aggressive in meeting the people and all we have come out with uh, 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 premium payroll package to attract the salaries of a uh, big corporates at the simultaneously to make the corporates comfortable to deal with us we have come out we have launched the api banking uh, in the first time with a 50 more features 50 plus features and we want to upgrade that features this year with another 150 more features so that this year we want to introduce that 200 features and no corporate need to come to the bank for operating it that's the one active we are considering it that sir and the cross border jo transactions to tap the nras and all bharat bill payment whatever the it is the first indian public sector bank who has had a tie up with the bharat bill payment in the from one woman country so those nras who are is there they can make the all the payments directly by using that and that tendency will continue and we are directly working with the rbi uh, uh, the research wing at the bangalore and we are in regular touch with that recently also we have launched a form number 15g 15h submission of that form number 15g 15h through our website through only aadhar otp nothing else no paper nothing is there you need not visit anything that has been first introduced by us only that has been again uh, another initiative the one more initiative is upi whatever the credit card on upi public sector bank we are the first initial banker to come on that and our cbdc the central bank digital currency we are already live sir in that and they have permitted us in 13 cities we are working on onboarding the both the customers as well as uh, the merchant establishments also so we are working on that like that we are initiating many initiate new initiatives and ultimately our aim is to Re- meet the requirements of the younger generation and tech savvy people so that we want to make ultimately the branch banking in their mobile so for any purposes they need not come and we are about to finalize the, our digital lending end to end platform i think it commences its operations from june uh, month end and uh, business analytics already it is very active among the is we are the highest earning banker for business analytics to strengthen further for big data analytics we have taken a project we are working on that big data analytics and many more initiatives sir here after words any technological initiative you will see the canara bank is a forefront uh, forerunner in that that in every every initiative you will we would love to see our canara bank in that this is actually initiative some initiatives are so many are there because of time constraint i am not explaining all those things but we are moving in the right direction to attract the younger generation and i uh, will request our uh, mukherji sir that to, to uh, address your third question that's the regarding the treasury and all so thank you very much sir, uh, evening, sir. mr ajmera to to response uh, to respond to your question with regard to treasury how we are looking forward uh, with regard to you know income and profits in the quarters to come uh let me tell you uh, that because of this change in yields you know yields going up and then coming down slightly uh we have not been able to do well that much what we had expected in the previous quarter uh now with the yields coming down there is an opportunity because we have a very high htm uh, holding and uh, that has helped us that has come in good state during our previous quarters where which has increased our portfolio yields uh, from 6.28% to 6.63% which is one of the best uh, among our peers so far as our uh, htm portfolio uh, this thing is concerned holding uh, yield is concerned so we want to capitalize on that because we have a high uh, you know htm holding now that the yields are coming down but they are not coming down to that extent where we can you know get so much of profit but yes we will definitely try to leverage this situation of lowering of yields and try to maintain a profit uh, which will not be extraordinarily high but which will be there in this quarter at least then we will see the market and then see how it happens what is the duration uh, <laughs> 
our our uh, treasury portfolio duration average duration uh, minimum duration is 4.26 out of that afs duration is around 2 so that also you know is it's very uh, very much under control sir my one question was on the agree agree loan agriculture pardon loan which one sir ha which one sir on agriculture loan acquisition of acquisition 1322 crores i just wanted what kind of loan book has been acquired by the bank during the quarter no it's not that acquisition sir you might have seen that that the growth rate whatever the, it is there in that there is no it's a routine way of doing that agriculture uh, banking whatever we are doing for the last see the percentage of if you look at that previous december 22 it was a 24% agriculture now in that's 25% agriculture but it is supporting by the gold loan as well as for the regular self help groups and for food processing and all where you are seeing that the acquisition actually no you know, no note number 17 sir uh, the accounts acquired note number uh, 17 Ajmera ji, please rejoin the queue as there is several participants waiting for that. Note number seventeen. We'll come back to you, sir. Just acquisition of phones under note number seventeen. We'll take the next question from Mayank Gulgulia. Please unmute yourself and go ahead with your question. Hi sir, thanks for taking my question. Uh, my question, uh, first question related to like previous participant where you shared like uh, initial closing requirement could be forty two thousand crores and that translate to eight thousand to eight thousand five hundred crores. So forty two thousand crores would be incremental P uh, uh, initial requirement on top of whatever we are holding right now on the standard assets. Is my understanding right? The question clarity is not there, sir. Why, is, sir? Sir, is it short to that? Sir, can you repeat can that audible? question, sir? Yeah. So, initial requirement is forty-two thousand crore. Uh, that year, shared like the so previous part part of the question. And okay. That's right. And expected that, last like, credit last provisioning. Expected yeah. credit yeah. loss provisioning, है right? yeah. ना? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, that so what is the question like, on that? Yeah, so that translate to almost five percent of loan book. So that seems to be on relatively higher side. So what is driving such a like uh, high requirement on ECR? Whether it's a any particular segment or uh, is it a higher relatively SMA two book? No, nothing, sir. It's a overall. It's not that the entire thing is only expected credit loss provisioning. This assessment of forty-two thousand crores is for that entire index. Whatever that <coughs> various <coughs> regulations because of that regulations. Whatever the extra provisioning it is expected from the system. We are well prepared to face that. That's what actually the, our communication is because our internal accruals. Our internal accruals are so strong. that we need not go to the market for depending to meet that re regulatory requirements that's the actually the communication what we are communicating to you always uh, rising from the market is one source that is available to the canara bank we can any time we can rise without any hesitation and there is a so many customers uh, the investors are there uh, to invest in this but at this moment since our crrr is already more than 16% it is a highest among the peer banks we don't look at to, to see anything that hurry that we have to go to the uh, market for bringing that then again i am telling you it's not the expected credit loss only it's the remaining the so many futures it is total to the requirement is 42% as per that in dash that is for 5 years not in one year the one year requirement is only a, a 20% of that that comes around 8000 But the quality of the credit may that it is not the because there is a quality is less and all those things. We you can look at that our risk weighted assets is the lowest among the peer banks. Our risk weighted assets is only a 65 percent, whereas all the peer banks risk weighted assets is 74 percent and above. There is a gap of nine percent cushion to the Canada Bank. What we told the other banks requirement will be much much higher. 
our bank requirement is we are quantified and we are well prepared to face that that's what actually our communication uh, thanks for that may i please join the queue may my Uh, we'll take the next question from Jay Mundra. Please admit yourself and go ahead. Jay, please go ahead. Please admit yourself and go ahead with your question. As there is no response, we'll take the next question from Mona Khatan. Please unmute yourself and go ahead with your question. Yeah, hi sir. Good evening. I have two questions. Good evening, Mona ji. Yeah, hi. Uh, so, firstly, uh, the NCLR loans. Uh, you mentioned that about uh, 40 to 45 percent is yet to be repriced. Uh, this is uh, uh, as a percentage of advances, right? Uh, the 40, 45 percent. Yes, madam. Let me say that it's not that 40 to 45 percent of total advances, nay, but the, what is actually total portfolio of 8 lakh 62,000 crores? 49 percent is under the MCLR regime. That means a 50 percent. Let us say that 4 lakh, 4 lakh 30 thousand crores. Out of that, 40 percent is still yet to be repriced. That okay. means and, around 1 lakh 60 thousand crores. Okay, and this is likely to be repriced largely in H1 of next this this fiscal. 100 percent, 100 percent, madam. It's actually the the generally all these loans, you no, know, the resetting or uh, interest resetting will happen annually, as and when it okay. happens. The first quarter, whatever last year happens, that will be repriced now. The second quarter, this second quarter, that's the way it is. It moves on. Got it. My second question. Mona, can you please rejoin the queue? The where there is several participants of it. All right. Thank you. We'll take the next question from Ankur Gupta. Please unmute yourself and go ahead with your question. Uh, good evening, sir. Good sir, evening, Ankur ji. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, thanks for the opportunity, sir. Sir, uh, first of all, uh, congratulations for the great set of numbers. Uh, Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, we, have, uh, sir we have achieved all the parameters as guided for the FY23 except CASA. Uh, sir, regarding CASA, I would like to understand what is the reason behind the such low CASA because if we compare to our peer banks like SBI, BOB, PNB, all are having CASA of about approximately 45% and we are having CASA at around 33.47%. So just want to understand uh, your view on CASA. And sir, I'll speak the, to your uh, question. Uh, I... uh, sir, and uh, sir. one more, sir, further, uh, uh, what are the steps we are taking to improve the same? Definitely, sir. For, I'll split this question into two parts. Sir. One is why the last year uh, it was stagnated or it is a low uh, that's the last year is, of course, it's an industry level experience. Eh? When the high re interest re uh, regime is there and there is a competition in the market and every bank is for sourcing that resources to meet their resources requirement, when they are offering at 8% for the retail term deposits, it will be tempting for the everybody to their, uh, keep the part of their savings into the term deposits. That's the major impact. Eh? Otherwise, nothing that's a serious impact on that. It's a bigger interest rate uh, driven impact on the CASA for the last year uh, muted growth, which we even we could not uh, achieve the target what we are set for that. That's the industry level experience. Then historically, this bank is 117 years old bank, sir. In this, it's a basically south-based bank. Even during the amalgamation, again, one more south-based bank has been merged with this. These south-based banks, historically, it's an experience that they are, since the beginning, 100 years together, that's their CASA ratio is very, very low. The reason may be the, the tendency of majority of their exposure is in the South India. Their more branches are located in South India, where the, actually the, the branch, the CASA producing states are there. They, these banks' presence is less comparatively that. That might be the one reason that the, otherwise there is no other reason to say that the, why it is low. It is in all the south-based uh, banks, if you study it, you will realize it that the CASA is historically is low. But in Canara Bank, we were also in the last three years, post amalgamation, we started our journey at 39%. Last year, we went up to the 35% from 29%. But the last, this uh, previous year, but the last year, 
you know that the market conditions the rate of interest is in a higher side and there is a rate war in the industry for uh, grabbing the resources that has yielded every bank not the canara bank that their casa has been uh, to that extent dented so but otherwise there is no such specific special things to address this what we have taken the initiative is we want to be very active in the first week of april itself we kept our house ready we have completed our process of internal promotions and transfers in the first week itself and we made the people in their respective positions especially in the key positions and within 7 days and we launched on the 3rd of april almost in the addressing the casa only uh, more than five initiatives and in that initiatives the major uh, thrust we have given it to the salary accounts the salary accounts uh, the product we have brought it is salary premium payment uh, package that is the salary way product we brought it in that first time we covered a, <clears throat> a term life insurance for the salaries based on their a uh, fitment into that whether it is a silver product or a gold product or a diamond product and there are four products are there depending on that we cover their life coverage from 1 lakh to 6 lakhs crores that's the first time in india no other bank has come forward and we are looking at the overwhelming response from all big uh, corporates because we realized that this salary package has to be driven from employer not from the employee so our target is on that and we are moving on the right direction but the simultaneously when you want to attract a higher uh, quality uh, corporates a big corporates they need a technological front support to strengthen their requirements same day we have launched api uh, banking so that the uh, these corporates need not come to the branch for uh, meeting their any of the day to day requirements of the banking needs we have started our api banking with 50 plus features we are upgrading it in every quarter with 50 odd and uh, new features on that then again non salaried class also we have come out with one more product as a select in the rural semi urban and urban and metropolitan uh, that will take care of uh, the requirements of the non salaried class and we kept in mind in the super seniors where the 75 years and above where we have a little courtesy towards them because these are all the loyal customers for the canara bank for a, a decades together we want to give an additional incentive so that we need not made them to wait in the branch for their meeting their requirements in wherever the do, uh, doorstep banking is available in uh, 200 places so around 200 towns it is available as on date in across the all the banks uh, the, uh, through outsourcing model that whatever the 14 services are available for meeting their requirements so far it is being paid by the customers but here based on the average income and all uh, monthly three services we ourselves wants to absorb the expenses that gives uh, more comfort to those super seniors and we are also working for uh, two more new products for women centric as well as a, a professional students centric which we will uh, launch it very soon, uh, soon and we also launched a current account product Uh, that is also going well and we are modifying it for the requirements of that and we have launched a one single number for contact cell uh, our contact uh, center eh, that is 1030 if you anybody can do that 1030 they can get 35 services in 12 vernacular languages these are all the initiatives small few initiatives we have taken sir we are taking much much many more such initiatives to address this cause Uh, thank you for the detailed answer sir one last question sir thank you uh, uh, we'll take uh, sorry there is sir one last question sir please join the queue we'll take the next question from jay mundra please unmute yourself and go ahead with your question yeah hi sir um, good afternoon uh, hi sir, you mentioned mm. yeah hi sir sir you mentioned that on the loan repricing side 1.6 trillion worth of loans you know will be comes will come for repricing and hence we will have yield benefit right but if i look your um, term deposit side right so um, on on an absolute number the term deposit itself is some 8 lakh crores right which will also reprice so how are you then expecting a margin increase for full year sir actually term deposits may they need not wait for one year to reprice their deposit the uh, depositors are at liberty to reprice their deposit whenever there is a higher rate of interest they can switch over to the higher rate of interest within just one one day 
So most of that, whatever the actually the one year period, whatever the deposits, what we have taken, almost in more than 90 percent deposits have been repriced and kept in that triple six scheme or 400 days scheme or even triple four scheme, whatever it is going on now. So that repricing has been happened already, sir. Now our the deposit side, whatever we are looking at the repricing is on the bulk side. We want to reduce that rate of interest because in the first quarter there is a less traction from other banks. We are trying to reprice at a downward trend, but the customer side, their repricing is more than 90 percent is already completed because there is no bar that they have to wait for completing that contract period. So you are saying, sir, cost of deposit should fall for Canada Bank. Right? That does not seem. I am telling you, sir, that will be maintained at a present level. I don't say that it will sure. reduce, but uh, th that depends on how my casa grows in the next three months. If my casa grows as I, we expected, if our efforts comes to the uh, reality and we get a good results on that, then definitely there will be a downward. But otherwise, we look at that that the uh, cost of funds will be already what we have incurred, our uh, interest expenses that will be more or less in the same level, sir. Sure, sir. And last, sir, what is the? Can you please rejoin the queue? Is there some other participant? We'll take the next question from Sushil Chokshi. Uh, please unmute yourself and go ahead with your question. Congratulations to Canada Bank team. Uh, excellent performance and all the milestone achieved. Mm -hmm. Sir, I have Good evening, Chokshi sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, what is your outlook on Treasury as margins? Uh, the lending rates have peaked. Treasury is indicating the rate. Bond market is clearly indicating of piercing seven and maybe six seventy five. And some of the peer bank calls are indicated for the year end. And second is your outlook on subsidies. What is the roadmap? Because they are taking a lot of initiative at the level. What is going to be in the subsidies? Sir, uh, Chokshi sir, uh, subsidies first I will address it. Outwards, our Mukaji sir already, of course, he explained about the treasury, but he once again he will reiterate that what he has told. Regarding subsidies, you look at that, sir. We have submitted our roadmap even for the regulator also, and uh, all our subsidies and associates uh, they are earning a good profits now. As on that, uh, the value of these subsidies for us is around uh, more than 12,500 crores. We have given a roadmap to all these associates and subsidiaries that this value should be at least a hundred percent growth. That is to match with the twenty-five thousand crores to improve from twelve thousand five hundred to twenty-five thousand crores. The value of the Canara Bank value. It's not that the subsidiaries value. Canara Bank value to the extent of whatever their shareholding that has to be multiplied to the double that. Uh, to the from 12,500 to 25,000. In addition to that, we also given a, a go ahead with uh, Canara Robaco Asset Management Company and Canara HSBC Life Insurance to initiate steps to go for the listing. These two will come for the listing. I don't. Uh, the, uh, they are the generally the expected timelines is around 15 months to 18 months. Uh, once they complete all these formalities from the regulators. But the, from board level, from the Canara Bank level, we already has given a go ahead with the, these two companies for listing of those things. As a share, stakeholders, also we have taken other stakeholders into confidence when we communicate to this respective boards. And the uh, Canfin Homes MD has reported he has taken a full control of that, and the results have come down uh, declared already, and that also has shown a 621 crores profit. And I am sure that. With the present current MD, he is an experienced guy, and this Canfin Homes also will do extremely well. The remaining the computer Canara Bank computer services, we want to strengthen it. There is a scope for that further strengthening, and Can Bank Venture Capital, we are strengthening that also because there is a lot of scope and attractions in that. And the only thing that the Canara Tanzania Limited. We may likely to go for the closer of that. We are already on the process. It is a valuation is going on that. Just for the namesake, we don't want to have any subsidiaries. It should give some value to the uh, bank. So that's why Canfin, uh, the Canara Bank Financial Services is, uh, and Can Bank, uh, the Canara Bank Financial Services is already defunct. Uh. This is some because some litigations are there. 
once that litigations have been addressed that company also will be closed sir these are all the actually the our road map in short term and long term congratulations and now i request to excellent person at canfin homes yes sir yes sir <laughs> thank you so much and now your uh, treasury related question or mukherjee sir will address you uh, thank you sir uh, good evening mr choksi <laughs> uh you see uh, your question was with regard to what uh, will happen to our treasury income in the coming quarter so That's there right. as i have as i have told the previous uh, uh, you know uh, person uh, that uh, now the yields are coming down but very slightly so uh, we have actively built up our htm book during the previous regime when uh, the yields were moving up so now we want to capitalize that and uh, uh, we want to you know use that and convert it into afs and then you know go to the market for uh, you know earning profits it won't be a very spectacular profit but we will continue that trajectory of profit making in the uh, this quarter also uh, after that it depends on the market situation we will see and then uh, we will evaluate and see how it pans out and then we will move choksi sir profitability will be there but at a lower pace oh, i want to clarify to you under even that la uh, last two quarters of toughness among peer banks we are the better performer so that con that will continue congratulations like to our team and mr mahesh pai for doing excellent thank you sir please see jo hai right thank you thank you sir participant due to time constraint will take that as a last question my lord hand over the call to sohil and like on artex stock document yeah good evening uh, uh, good evening sohil ji for joining in how are you sir fine 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 sir so, sir due to time constraint uh, we'll end this call now here and probably if you have uh, any or oh, closing remarks kindly share with us and so congratulations for a great set of numbers and best of luck so uh, i request all the uh, the participants say uh, if still any questions are there they can send to our md secretary uh, mail that will be addressed uh, immediately sir so that your questions can be addressed immediately thank you sir thank you so much Thank you, sir. And uh, with this, uh, we end the call uh, of Canara Bank for the FI23 earnings. Thanks a lot, everyone, for joining in. Thank you, sir. A lot. Hello. Hello.